At approximately 11 a.m. Wednesday morning, shortly following a press conference, Chicago Mayor Harold Washington suffered a fatal heart attack at his desk in City Hall. The mayor was rushed to Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at 1.36 p.m. A press conference was held shortly thereafter by the mayor's press secretary, Alton Miller. My sad responsibility to let you know that uh, Mayor Washington was pronounced dead this afternoon at 1.36. Uh, he suddenly, uh, in, in general chit-chat about this morning's press, he uh, slumped to one side. I thought he was trying to pick something up off the floor, like a pen that he might have dropped. And uh, it was, I quickly realized that he, it was more serious than that, called the mayor's security detail. And the rest of that, the rest from there is, is is documented, is on paper, and there's no question about the quality of the response time or the quality of the health care. Uh, Dr. John Sanders, the chief of staff at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, attended to the mayor after his arrival. Uh, he was placed upon a, uh, an advanced form of uh, heart-lung machine, which can be applied very quickly. And with that, we were able to accomplish essentially normal circulatory uh, dynamics within about 15 <laughs> minutes of his arrival. Unfortunately, uh, the mayor sustained uh, irreversible d brain damage. We could not get any signs of neurologic recovery nor spontaneous cardiac activity, and he was pronounced dead at 1.36 this afternoon. Flanked by the mayor's chief of staff, Ernest Bearfield, Alderman David Orr laid out plans for the, the city's future. A very good friend and a great mayor. We are asking everybody in the city to pull together in this very difficult time. Uh, we appreciate the good work of this hospital in doing all they could for the mayor. The, again, the governmental processes will continue. Uh, we're quite comfortable that uh, all the necessary work will be done. But the procedure, as you may know, is that the vice mayor acts as interim mayor for a short period of time until the city council is able to come together to meet and to select a successor from among itself. <coughs> Uh, that will be done. Obviously, we cannot tell you the date. We cannot tell you any of the procedures. But we do, do believe that we are very much on top of what has to happen. And in the great mayor's memory, we should all do all we can to pull together. And we will make sure that things happen successfully for the city. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, it's not known how long the process will take to fill the vacated office of the mayor. Until the city council can meet to decide, Vice Mayor Alderman David Orr will act as Chicago's chief executive. For Windy City Alive, I'm Tim Frakes.